hey guys welcome to the video uh, this is the part 2 of zhongli build uh, in this part we don't talk, we're gonna talk about weapons in part 1 we talked about artifacts that can be used on zhongli based on his role and uh, based on his talent and passives uh, constellations won't matter a lot but uh, we did we did uh, know that if you're not going for if you're going for uh, just if you're free to pay player or you are just low ar this kind of videos will help you and uh, if you even if you are not high spend if you are mid spend also like welkin or a little bit of uh, extra genesis crystal uh, these series might help you so in this part we are going to discuss about the weapons uh, if you want to check part 1 i'm going to leave the link in the description below um, so please check it out uh, anyway in this video we're going to talk about weapons and the artifact sets that can be used for different roles of uh, Zhongli I believe there are like 26 or 27 something uh, weapons uh, pole arms available in the game right now as we speak in the 4.0 version so it, it may come surprise that Zhongli can use around 19 to 20 weapons out of those like they are only handful of weapons counted in a single hand or probably both hands that Zhongli can not use at all uh, of all the weapons that he can use pole arms he can use in the game there are only couple or three max to max three of them like uh, as far as I can remember if once we go in we might know that the weapons that he can use conditionally same as the worker shaguro which was shaka's globe that we talked about in the part one so let's dive into the talk, dive into the video and um, hopefully you will be able to know what I'm talking about. So the first thing is Vortex Vanquisher. Right now we're going to talk about 5 star weapons first. So the Vortex Vanquisher is the standard like go to weapon uh, which will be which always release al along with this banner. It provides attack ban percentage bonus 10.8 to 49.6 and in R1 increases shield strength by 20 scoring hits on opponent attack increases attack by 4% for 8 seconds that is 5 stack so it max 5 stack so basically you are getting 20% increase attack and when you are in the shield this increase this is increased by 100% so basically this is going to be something uh, you can actually go with the retracing bullet to increase the damage output or tenacity of the millilit to increase further attack you can even put gladiator i'm talking about only four pieces okay uh, you can increase you can put the gladiator or you can even put pale flame since the elemental damage attack when the elemental skill will uh, will trigger will uh, hit the opponent you will get the bonus of nine percentage for seven seconds and then you get a hundred percent attack since you're always going to be on the shield so and by the way oh, you can also go for echoes of the offering so basically any dps kind of build you can actually go for um vortex vanquisher um it's very good weapon uh if you want to go for a banner weapon this probably is going to be the best banner weapon for the attack based physical damage uh, also can be used since uh, the damage output would be as much as the physical damage weapons but attack percentage will be a lot more in this like attack pure attack base will be uh will be high uh of high quality in this uh through this weapon uh the second one is star performa it is also another secondary kind of a weapon that is being used with crit damage as a second type um hp is increased by 20 additionally provides attack bonus based on 0.8 percent of the wielder's mass hp when H wielder's HP is less than 50%, the attack bonus is increased by an additional 1% of the max HP. This second part is not much of use, but uh, since Zhongli, apart from, uh, I believe, uh, let's take it, apart from um, Rift Towns, I don't believe there is any anything else that can uh, decrease the HP of uh, Zhongli as of now, as until, at least in my knowledge. So, increase in HP plus the attack bonus based on his HP which will also uh, good which will be also good coupled with his ascension passive 2 ascension passive 2 I'm, I'm sorry ascension passive 2 so his attack damage I mean his damage output will be great plus the grid damage 
with 66.2 will give you a high chance of going just pure attack based on him you can actually this thing this weapon is probably used for all the builds the burst dps you can use him you can put noblesse oblige for peace uh, doing these bursts and then you can go with it or you can go with as a gladiator or even archic patra because you get crystallized uh, damage output also for that particular element and uh, if you're going with bosses they will definitely have just one particular element so this is going to be very good with a lot of weapon lot of artifacts then you have got uh, a standard banner weapon primordial jade wing spear um i have it and i use it a lot uh crit rate up to 20 point because i have only level 80 i may have 45 on this on that account but uh, you can actually get him to 22.1 percentage and uh, if you look at his um passive on hit attack increased by 3.2 for six seconds max seven stack that's massive i have r2 okay so it's 3.9 um on uh per attack but if you even if you are just in r1 okay the max uh you you are basically getting every time a, a bonus of 3.2 attack every single time Ev i'm talking about every single time okay this will be increased up to 12 percent damage this will also create a 12 percent damage when you have seven stacks all seven stacks which Zhongli can get easily because his um normal attack does a lot of hits uh, his normal attacks uh, does a lot of hits so i think it is like uh, in one of this uh, one of his movements he rolls the entire pole arm with his foot in through a kick that hits multiple times i think it's three or four times it hits i may be wrong but you can actually get a lot of stack um at least in three or four times you can actually get two stack because every because of this effect uh, can only occur once in 20 seconds okay so you can actually get 22.4 percent attack with crit rate of 22.1 also a damage output of 12 so whatever the attack plus you get crit rate crit damage and then you have you have to make sure the defense of the uh, um, opponent um, you take all that consideration after that you will get an extra 12 percent attack so this weapon is very good for Zhongli. Um, if you don't know how the attack and damage is different, um, we will talk about that in some other time. Or you can go through some other guides or something like that to actually know that though how attack or how some defense based or HP based can their 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 value is different from what we get. Crit rate, crit damage, everything comes in calculation. There's a big calculation behind it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you in this video, but please make sure you understand that. But anyway, this weapon is quite good. Another standard banner, Skyward Spine, energy recharge for 36.8. This is very good since you also getting crit rate by 8% and attack speed by 12%, which to be honest, it doesn't matter because you are literally jungle is very fast, so you don't need that. But uh, when it attacks an uh, opponent, 50% chance to create a vacuum blade that is 40% of the attack as damage in small AOE. This is also quite good. You can actually put this weapon along with engulfing lightning for energy recharge uh, bonuses. You get 36.8 from that. Or you can actually go for noblesse oblige burst and then burst you get a lot of damage output and you can switch back to someone else. You you can actually put a uh, noble uh, tenacity of the millilith also just to uh, get the attack bonus for everyone else at the same time so you can actually go through a lot of uh, a lot of artifacts through this energy recharge plus since you're getting 38.6 with the crit rate and also a little bit small amount of damage this weapon is also useful for you to just uh, be on a burst focus dps or support burst support or burst dps this this weapon will be good engulfing lightning since we're talking about emblem of severed fate we're gonna talk about emblem em, em, sorry engulfing lightning uh 51.5 uh 55.1 energy recharge also attack is increased by 28 percent of the energy recharge over the base of 100 and uh, you can get a maximum of uh, 80 percent and then 30% energy recharge after 12 seconds for 12 seconds after using an uh, elemental burst. 
this is another example of uh, emblem of server fate or noblesse oblige you can actually get a lot of probably it's best with emblem of server fate but you can also as i said uh, put with the uh, noblesse oblige or um, even tenacity of the millilith yeah, just to even retracing bullet if you're just gonna use jongli since you're gonna get the attack bonus up to 80 percent um so this weapon can be used um as a burst dps or um, support for jongli this is one of those weapon where i said that it is conditional or partial if uh, if i could say calamity color um it is shen he's weapon uh attack bonus you get 16.5 that's good the only conditional part that it doesn't help is gain 12 percent elemental damage bonus that's the only part it doesn't help apart from that you can actually use uh whenever you are going to use an elemental skill uh your attack will increase 3.2 per second up to 6 stack this is quite good since you can actually be on the field and actually put a lot of damage this includes like a main dps kind of a, a pale flame um the like gladiator echoes of a offering martial artist um even archaic petra you 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 can put a lot of um artifacts roll it around them and you can put a two piece pale flame two piece gladiator two piece attack percentage whatever you can actually go and use it as a physical or main dps to get a lot of attack out although it's only the downfall is that it's not damage as compared to staff of homa uh sorry uh, as compared to um where is i forgot yeah uh Pam primordial jaming spear where the attack that the damage is increased by 12 you only get the attack boost but uh it's something better than nothing kind of a thing so if you if you have calamity color just putting out there and you don't have a good um attack based pole arm you can actually use uh calamity color to help you out um with the okay uh so now we're gonna talk about the four star weapons um so i'm gonna go in an order that can actually be understandable uh forging bp and everything like this so first one that we're gonna discuss dragon spine spear which will actually increase the physical damage bonus and also have a small chance of getting uh an ice um isil i i isil i forgot i mean ever force isil will be dropping which will deal about 80 percent of the a 80 percent of uh, attack damage in a small aoe this guy you can actually get it from uh even from a quest festering fang in the dragon spine area and then you can actually forge it to r5 and uh, r5 will have 140 percent the attack damage bonus um and then opponents affected by cryo are dealt 360 percent attack damage so you can have uh, someone like chong yun or uh, someone like uh, Shen He, you can actually have someone to actually uh, put the ice, um, put the um, cryo around, and then you can get the damage boost of 360. So, this is one of the basics uh, four star weapon that you can get from Forge and the quest to uh, get your build for physical damage bonus through four piece pale flame or even two piece um, pale flame and two piece blood shear blood shield um i forgot the other one uh blood stain chivalry sorry um i've i i unknowingly went to the other game uh the next one is crescent pipe also another physical type bonus which will give you 34.5 um whenever you get an element or a particle you are attacked uh, normal attack char charge attacks deal 20 percent x uh, damage as 20 percent x 20 uh, percent of the x attack so you will deal extra damage or 20 percent of attack sorry i'm stabbing a lot because a lot of um the audios has been recorded or video has been recorded uh in this case when you are having electro aether or electro lumine since uh they will be also helping you getting a lot of burst boost this will also come in handy if you have feminine sword with them either of them uh lumine or aether physical damage bonus and the same thing as dragon spine spear um you can actually get a lot of attack and a lot, lot of damage purpose from it um 
prototypes targeter is where energy recharge is com comes in handy uh, scale and normal char uh, charge is by 8% for 12 seconds around 12 uh, max 2 sacks um, if you can see that is just around the corner of the whole damage but uh, you can actually use it quite good in order to get both the mm, damage uh, both the damage bonuses of s up to 16 percent um, it will up to go to uh, in r5 you will can get up to 32 percent uh, energy recharge so you can actually as as by engulfing lightning um, you can actually uh, get it to around uh, Dam do damage with the emblem of sever fate with extra energy charge of uh, 45.9 or you can actually use him as a burst support or burst dps with noblesse and uh, archaic petra or two piece archaic petra and two piece noblesse anything like that you can actually have him use this and be the support that you want to be, want him to be rightful um, reward is the four piece um, polearm that you can get through forge uh, from fontaine uh it will be a conditional one kind of a thing since you if you're going with the pure shield like let's say four piece tenacity or two piece tenacity and two piece worker shaglo or uh, uh, if you are just going with uh, two piece worker shaglo or two piece tenacity with two piece of literacy bullet you can actually have hp percent up to 27.6 percent this is conditional because uh, the passive is triggered only when it's healed you will get eight percent of energy um, this is kind of like a b support build, but uh, if you have a have your hand on it and uh, you want um, you want uh, something like a shield, uh, pure shield, uh, Zhongli with this weapon is very good. Um, the catch is another weapon, same as as prototype targeter, but you can only get through fishing, so you have to fish a lot. And I did fish a lot, and I got it to R5 where my burst crit rate was 12 up. 12% and burst damage is 32% and I'm telling you it for my build if you remember in um, part 1 I showed you my build it does up to 40,000 damage without a geo gobbler without a geo artifact and my burst is doing 40% damage with even the low uh, as low as even with the crit rate uh, increase up to uh, sorry with the crit damage of 108 that's it 108% crit damage and it's still does this damage 40,000 so you know how big of a burst how powerful the burst is with energy recharge you can actually solve a lot of things um, if you don't have a 4 minute sword the energy recharge will help you out this is pure burst dps kind of build where you can actually burst a lot of opponents i usually use uh, the catch when i'm fighting against a boss or a weekly boss of that matter to get the burst as soon as possible and then switch into normal attack since it's already giving you 5 10 and normal attack so you're not dismissing any attack but you are going to whatever build you have you just need you can you can actually go with the burst on this one feminine lance is the wish you can get from standard or character or anywhere else banner to uh, energy recharge and the crit rate this is another standard weapon where you don't need to rely on aether or lumine you can actually use him and you can use him as a dps you can build him any kind of dps and you can still have your burst up at the all the time uh, I don't usually use this, do this because Aether will be there so I can actually use the weapon slot for more damage or more output something more more um, proficiency efficiency so it will be far more better but if you have feminist for feminist lance and uh, you need a kind of like a hinge roll or burst dps or something you lacking energy recharge you can put HP sub HP percentage and uh, and uh, crit rate crit value crit crit rate crit damage on uh, your artifacts and you can actually get a lot of er um if you even if you go with emblem of server fate it's not going to be bigger bigger for damage but if you're going with er make sure you have also crit rate because you will have a uh, six energy re uh, regeneration for uh, for every crit rate at 60 percent chance of uh, getting six energy particles for any crit rate that you can get uh, although it's on a 12 second cooldown but it will reduce to 6 second cooldown on R5 with every crit almost giving you 6 energy. So this is going to be very good. Lithic Spear is a weapon li event limited edition of uh, 
the pole arm um is kind of very conditional is just that attack percentage will be increased by 27.6 but uh, in r1 you have to have the amount the number of characters that are from leeway will increase 7% attack and 3% crit rate uh so if you have all four of them there you get 28% attack and 12% crit rate uh is good if you are going with all leeway kind of score but it's hard to say whether you will be going to all leeway kind of score um because also jongli will fit in any squad but uh is kind of tough you know is is very kind of tough so you can actually use this attack percentage for bonuses and everything and you have you have another leeway just one leeway character another leeway character apart from uh, even if jongli is only there you're getting 7% attack and 3% crit rate automatically so you can use him for kind of dps and if you get this one and if you don't have primordial jade wing spear or um you don't have a uh, staff of forma what is vanquisher you can actually use him use this um weapon in uh, with glad set or echoes of offering set a martial arts set you can actually use them use it to get the damage output so this is kind of like a main dps kind of a weapon with condition wave breaker fin uh, wave breaker's fin is another weapon that is from a weapon even wishes and uh, you can get attack bonuses but also this will be very good with the emblem of self fade because for every point of entire party's combined maximum energy capacity the elemental burst damage of the character equipping this weapon is increased by 0.12 40% can be increased this i'm not going to do the math but this if you are going to put him with bennet shincho um shangling or uh, someone with the 80 um, like for example just uh, just for crying out loud i'm as going to put bedo in there you know 80 uh 80 uh, energy for all the burst so whatever the maximum energy capacity is needed you combine it and then you get at least 40% so if you have got at least like three characters um with the 80 and then jongli who has only 40 um the three characters will give you around 240 and then jongli will give you 40 that means 28 280 into 0.12 i am not i'm not good that good in maths but you can do the calculation it will be a good amount of burst damage and uh, a good amount of uh, burst damage which can be increased further more by noblesse or bleach 20% and you can further increase it more with uh, two piece tenacity or two piece washoka with the passive actually helping ssh passive to actually helping with your burst damage so this is more like a burst build where you can actually get a lot of lot of uh, uh lot of usage out of it or you can use a four piece emblem of sever faith with a lot of energy recharge and you can place a lot of uh you can get a lot of burst damage because that will increase you around even if it's 200% er you it will give you 50% from emblem of self fate and you get another at least 20 or 25% from er so basically you are getting 75 rounds on a average 75% damage with this weapon and set so keep that in mind royal spear is uh, another weapon that you can get to a petition from paimon's paimon's bargain so you can actually get a lot from here uh, you can get a lot of it uh, this and black lifts uh, pole arm which we're going to talk about attack is increased by 27.6 and crit rate will be upon de- dealing damage to opponent crit rate is increased by 8 maximum 5 stack this is at least you will have 8% crit rate so passive is literally you can have at least 8% of crit rate every single time if you don't go you can have at least 40% of crit rate um and at max and then you can once you hit the crit rate everything will be removed and you have to start over so this is another is a niche example of uh, if you don't have any other weapon same with lithic spear if you don't have any other weapon you can use it as a substitute for attack based a uh, dem uh, main dps based only but uh, this is another like uh, okay low tire low percent low low efficient usage of jongli 
the black if pole arm is also from um, it's also from a uh, Paimon's bargain and uh, a back if pole sorry Paimon's bargain and it's crit damage increase and after defeating opponent and attack is increased by 12% for 30 seconds maximum 3 stack duration each stack is independent of others this is so funny because you can use the burst to actually defeat a lot of opponents and it will give you a big boost of 36% attack increase with the crit damage of 55.1% on R1 level 90 which you can further increase with the gladiator 4 piece or uh, echoes of uh, offering 4 piece or even uh, martial artist um, 4 piece same with the uh, if you have ob noblesse oblige or tenacity you can use anything you can use even with the retracing bullet this is quite good um, considering that you can actually have a lot of damage output attack percent increase sorry you can have a lot of attack percent increase which will increase your further damages um, next is death match and this is a BP one battle pass one. Uh, if you are using, if you have, if you are just going for Velkin, you can actually use it. Uh, crit rate increased by thirty six point eight, and then if you have two percent nearby opponents, your attack will be increased by sixteen, and uh, defense will be increased by sixteen. If uh, fewer than two, then attack will be increased by twenty four, which is way more sufficient for Zhongli, same as a lot of uh, other weapons. Now we have three star weapon of White Tail Cell, which you can get from uh, most some luxurious chest or even any any kind of banner which is you can probably have hit r5 uh, so the attack normal attack damage is increased by 48 percent with a crit rate of 23.4 this is very good considering if you don't have a, like a good attack set or something uh, even with r1 if low attack with low ar you can have 24 percent at least so this is very good Halberd is another one where you can have increased attack and normal attack deal 160% damage um, once in every 10 seconds but uh, it can get a deal up to 320% 3, damage uh, in R5 and then Black Tizer which is purely a shield build the first one that we can get through wishes only this not, doesn't happen by the way you can say you need to save all the Black Tizers uh, if you want to because you don't get it from anywhere else apart from wishes so a lot of the polearm users which HP usage like Candace, Thoma and everyone I put them uh, as if, if I don't have feminist lance I don't have feminist lance I never got feminist lance or any of the uh, prototype star creator I have not even not been able to forge them since I was focused on other characters uh, HP percentage will be much more beneficial since it's increased to 46.9. Unlike rightful uh, reward, it's only 27.6. Black Tesser will be a much more beneficial one since it skips to at least 46.9%. So, this is a but perfect weapon for a great, a just shield, a pure shielder. If you are using just wrongly for pure shield, which you want his HP to be maxed out, this is the perfect weapon with watch over glow or tenacity or uh, you can uh, even have two piece world sugar glow and two piece tenacity that will also help you out with four piece no place also it will work so those are the weapons um, in part three we're going to talk about the energy particle the jongli's weakness of uh, having low energy particle we're going to talk about that and how to overcome it so please look into that i will drop the video i will put the link on the description below for the video too